So you just finish fapping and you feel lazy, you feel discouraged, you uh, lazy, you're ready to go to back to bed. And I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're literally castrating yourself, bro. You're castrating yourself by fapping. You're literally making your fucking balls smaller. Your testosterone, you're letting it out like it's nothing. Like a fucking bull. Whenever you chop off a bull's balls, it loses its energy. You're like a like a like an energyless bull. You have no energy. You you're you're not ready to take on the world. And that's the reason why you feel depressed all the time, why you feel so depressed after finishing a three hour video game session. Realize that you're castrating yourself. You're literally giving away your testosterone, your sex drive, which is what makes you be ambitious towards goals. Because you might be like, oh, sex drive, whatever the fuck, you're, you're laughing and whatever the fuck. But this is, this is, this is the reason you're fucking depressed. And if you're going to sit here and be like, oh, like, this is not me, like, whatever the fuck, this is fucking you. There's a reason why you're, why you're watching this video right now. Realize that by doing this, you're letting your monkey mind beat you. You're literally giving away, you're giving into your urges and your monkey mind has literally be over your modern mind. I've explained this before in my past video and I'm going to explain it again. So the monkey mind is basically your stone age mind, which doesn't understand reality. It doesn't understand the modern world. All it sees is competitiveness, nature and the stone age, you know? That is basically the back party of your brain when we all have, we all fucking have this. I'm not, I'm not even making this shit up. We all have fucking have this and we all have a modern, modern world, which is basically what's watching what you, which is watching me right now. <sighs> so what happens when you fucking fap three, four, five times a day is that your monkey mind is that you're making yourself believe. And this is fucking, of course, you're not going to be fucking thinking about this, but this is what happens when you fucking jack off six times a day. Ever since you were five years old, is you're you're basically fooling your mind into thinking that you've been fucking six girls uh, for for over the every single day for the past ten years, ever since you were five fucking years old, <laughs> ever since you were ten, nine, eight. I don't know. I mean, there's fucking four year old kids watching porn now. It's fucking disgusting, bro. We gotta change this. But what happens is that you're making your mind believe that you're reaching that point in the human hierarchy that like you've reached the highest point in life. You fucked six girls because that's what happens. That's the that's the peak point in, in male nature. That's what it's always been. Attract the woman and reproduce. So what happens when you do this? This is this is human fucking nature. What happens when you do this is that you're making your mind believe that it's done. Like the, the hard work is done. I fuck these three bitches. Like I reproduce myself. So it's time to rest. And whenever you do this, as soon as you wake up, as soon as you get out of bed, you're literally giving away your sex drive. This is the reason why you're so unproductive. Why you don't do shit every, when, every single time, every single day that you jack off first thing in the morning. You're chopping off your own fucking balls. Do you not understand this? What happens when you watch porn is that you're making your mind think that you're attracting all these women. They're just, you're just looking at the fucking screen when in reality, you're not attracting no one. All you have to do was search a porn on your fucking phone, your fucking computer. And there it is. Your mind is thinking, oh, I'm attracting all these women. Oh, there's this face. There's this face. There's this face in this position. Like whenever you're not fucking there. The difference between the beta, you're fucking beta if you do this. The difference between the beta and the alpha is that the beta faps while he watches the alpha fuck. It might sound kind of kind of ruthless and kind of this is inappropriate, but this is the reality. Most people nowadays are betas. Most men nowadays are betas. Do you really want to become this man? So what happens whenever you're fooling your brain that you've attracted all these women is that oh like I reproduced I I I finished I I'm so tired now your your brain is thinking I reached the the peak man the peak point of male life it's time to rest our sex drive is gone we've put in the hard work so it's now it's time to rest right no you're skipping the hard part and this is what this is what technology does to us nowadays. Fapping is literally castrating your own balls. This is what technology was made for. And this is not a good thing. It has made us more comfortable than ever before. This is not a good thing. You're skipping the hard part. Because what happens when these technologies are made, they, they make us more comfortable. They make us skip the hard part because... 
these technologies have made us so comfortable. Like they they just make us think like, oh, why would I go out and like talk to this girl, like track this girl, and like actually like get to know her when there's porn, when I can just search a porn? Why would I level up my body? Why would I work out whenever there's a video game in which I can let get to level prestige level one million? Why would I go out and make some friends whenever there's fucking social media or fucking Call of Duty in which you're making no real fucking friends? Whenever you're not putting yourself through that discomfort, and what happens whenever you're not putting yourself through that discomfort is that you're not uncomfortable you're not making yourself grow you're stayed you're staying in the same fucking spot every single fucking day every single day that you jack off you're castrating yourself you're taking away an extra life an extra day of life from your future self you're giving away his sex drive for free because you're too fucking weak to put yourself out there to make yourself uncomfortable to actually go through that hard hard situation of getting to, of meeting a girl meeting a, a new guy friends like this is what technology was made for and the sad saddest thing is here is that whenever you turn off that phone whenever you turn off your console after that three hour video game session after jacking off for the fifth time today it's all gone you never attracted no bitches you have no brotherhood those friends that they're your friends then they don't fucking care about you you're not prestige level 1 million. Your fucking brain believes it is. Because it's still like living in the past. It's still in the stone age. It's like, oh, let's rest now. That's why most people are like, oh, I can't. I have to bust a nut before I go to sleep because I'm a fucking emotional man. I have to touch my dick. Is this what you want to be? Is this really what you want to be? Technology is not necessarily... It hasn't necessarily made our lives better. Said this, I've said this multiple times and I'll say it once again. The more alpha that you are in the virtual world, the more beta that you are in the real world. Will you allow this to happen? Will you make your future self a fucking loser? Or will you make him, will you give him a better life as an alpha?